40 people. It was really nice. And how long was he here? He was there. Good evening. This is a meeting of the Scarborough Board of Education. It's Thursday, August 20th, 2015. Could I have the call to order? Mrs. Bealey? Here. Mr. Chiazzo? Here. Mrs. Massengill? Here. Mrs. Murphy? Here. Ms. Perry? Here. Mrs. Shea? Here. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, I apologize, Craig. I uh, was put up to that. I, I don't want to take responsibility for it. <laughs> okay. Are there any adjustments to the agenda? There are none. Chair's report. There, I do not have a report this evening. 7.0 committee reports. Anyone? Uh, anyone have anything they wish to report on a committee in the summer? Did the superintendent have a report? No. Um, the superintendent's report really is very brief. It is um, all systems are go for the start of school. Um, we've done some uh, excellent work this summer, including uh, today with the Leadership Council and, the, uh, and a joint session um, with the school board with a very productive conversation and clearly getting focused for those things that we um, need to uh, be uh, working on uh, in this school year and also as part of our 24-month improvement plan. Uh, Technology-wise, um, the technology team uh, does an amazing job, and they have been working re uh, really diligently all summer uh, to ensure that um, uh, school will be ready to go, um, as, uh, as is the same for our facility staff. So uh, systems are, all systems are go. Um, I'll look forward to reporting on the opening of school at the next school board meeting. Very good, and 8.0 student representatives are not here this evening, so we'll move on to new business. Would you like to share uh, all these positions? Uh, do I have a motion for the um, minutes of the meeting of June 18th? Uh, move approval is printed. Second. Very good. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Very good. Meeting of minutes of June 25th. Move approval is printed. Second. Any discussion? Very good. All in favor? Six. 9.3. The minutes of July 23rd. Move approval is printed. Second. Any discussion on that? Very good. All in favor? Six. Great. 9.4, motion to approve a donation for the Gates Internship Program. Do we have anyone speaking on that this evening? Uh, we don't, but I will fill you in. Um, this is a donation um, that Allison has brought forward. Uh, John Hughes at Ameriprise has volunteered his time to lead a workshop for our students on interview, on interview skills and real-world job preparedness, which, as we all know, that's a, a big part of what we're trying to do. Um, uh, get started uh, in terms of conversations here in the district. In addition, he has made a $500 donation to support field trips, consultants, and other career exploration activities. John York, Gates teacher, will be coordinating this work for our students. Um, it's wonderful to have the time, support, financial resource of another Scarborough business. This is a very, generation, very generous donation from John Hughes and um, with much appreciation. Um, the recommendation is to approve this. Do I have a motion? Move approve is printed. Second, with great thanks. Any? Yeah, I just wanted to point out that uh, Mr. Hughes was also a volunteer for our April 15th um, senior uh, profession day. He actually came in and gave a presentation on communication skills and, and things. So he, he volunteers his time quite regularly in the community as a um, Two, two boys active in the community as well. So um, certainly appreciate his involvement, both volunteering as well as the, um, as, as the financial contribution. He also has a daughter as well. Yes, he does. Thank you. No problem. I know the boys from football. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Seeing none, all in favor? 
six. Very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Hughes. 9.5, motion to approve a fee waiver for the use of the Wentworth School Cafeteria for a fundraiser for the Maine Children's Cancer Program. And this is, again, no one here is, oh, do we have someone here to speak Speaker? about this? Okay, no. No. Um, uh, I, no I, I just made that connection now. I know, I know, okay. <laughs> um, that we do not have someone here to speak about it. I did see a different face that <laughs> I didn't recognize in the audience, and I thought perhaps that was the person, but mm -hmm. um, I am um, mistaken. So uh, the, what I'm not mistaken about is the fact that um, we have, uh, for the past six years, um, uh, provided a, wave, a waiver for the fees that are associated with the use of the cafeteria. Yep. This is a very worthwhile um, uh, benefit for uh, the Maine cha uh, Children's Cancer Program. And this is Robin, is it Doms, D-A-H-M-S? Yes. Um, and, uh, and she is the person who uh, is uh, making this request. Um, she is hosting the fundraiser um, to benefit, as I said, Maine Children's Cancer. Uh, it is a uh, scrapbook booking crop, uh, which uh, other people would probably know what that is. Um, there's um, at least 100 people, and it's uh, Saturday, September 26th. Uh, the good news is the, gener the generosity of the school and the waiving of the fees has allowed her to um, raise over $17,000, all of which has been uh, de uh, donated to the Maine Children's Cancer Program. My recommendation is to approve this uh, re waiver request. Do I have a motion? Move, Move approval. approval as presented. Second. Very good. All right. <laughs> Any discussion? Very good. All in favor? Six. Thank you. And now for our appointments. Mm -hmm. would you like to? Um, I don't think that you'll mind if I t uh, take these out of order. I would like to start with the uh, new high school assistant principal, and that is Gregory Applestein. Um, he, he is being nominated to fill this position that's been created by a resignation. Uh, uh, Greg received a degree in English education from Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Uh, and his master's degree in educational leadership from the University of, South, um, of Southern Maine. He's been an assistant principal at Ellsworth High School for three years, where he served in many different capacities, um, including one thing that we uh, really liked is he was NEASC accreditation committee chairperson. Um, so that was uh, uh, quite terrific. He was also very involved in the school's alternative education program prior to being hired as an assistant principal. He was the English uh, video production teacher at Belfast Area High School for 22 years. We are delighted. We've gotten to know Greg a little bit, and um, we've tested him a bit. Uh, he's been part of the of the team, and I would say that he has uh, pretty much passed with flying colors. It's my pleasure to recommend to you uh, the hiring of Greg Applestein as the new high school assistant principal. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? Yes. I, I would also like to commend Mr. Applestein on a sense of uh, humor as well. We had a little bit of fun with him earlier, so welcome <laughs> aboard. Looking forward to it, and hopefully we can share that brevity but stay focused. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. May, may we have him come to the podium and say a few words about himself and the public who may be watching can get, get to see him. Look. He has to, good he evening. Has to smile, though. Move that, move that up, Greg. Move it up. Yeah, just there you go. Like that? Yep, there Is that you better? Are. Can you hear me now? Yep. Th thank you very much. Uh, I, I can't stand here without thanking my wife, Michelle, for her love and her support through this transition, certainly, and the team at the high school and the leadership council and all of you as well. And that's kind of where I would leave it unless you have a question or two for me. <laughs> Just 20 or 30. Yeah, but no. so. yeah that's what I heard earlier. I have nothing prepared. I have to buy a red tie. I have two or three at the house. I, okay. I grabbed the wrong one this morning. I, I apologize. We'll provide you with a number of questions during the year. Fantastic. Okay, very good. We're glad you're here. Well, thank you very much Welcome. for the opportunity. Looking forward to it. Excellent. And do I have uh, any other further discussion? Judge, no, teacher? No. No? Okay. Very good. All in favor of approving Greg Applestein. Eight of six. You're officially well, in. Thank you very much.
Welcome to the su southern part of the state. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, going back to 9.6.1 in terms of appointments, uh, this is the appointment of a recommended appointment of the high school technology integrator. Uh, Jennifer Adams uh, is someone who we know. She received her bachelor's uh, of science degree in elementary education from University of Maine at Orono. She received her master's degree um, in instructional te technology at UMO. She's been a classroom teacher with us at Wentworth School since 2008, and before that she was a classroom teacher in MSAD 52. Um, and she is um, being hired into the high school technology integrator position, which is a new position. Uh, the recommendation is to approve the appointment of Jennifer to that position. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Thank you. 9.6.3 is middle school gifted and talented teacher. This is Carrie Allen, Ellen Avery, and she's nominated to fill, fulfill um, or fill this position due to a retirement. Ms. Avery received her uh, BS degree in secondary education from the University of Maine um, at Farmington um, and <coughs> anticipates earning her master's degree at the University of Southern Maine um, this um, coming May 2016. She taught math to gifted and talented students at Auburn Middle School for seven years and most recently taught math at Greeley Middle School. Uh, recommendation is to um, appoint uh, Carrie Ellen Avery as the middle school gifted and talented teacher. Move approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Six. We have another Carrie. This time, this is a high school English teacher. This is Carrie Becker, and sh uh, she is nominated to fill this position that has been created by a resignation. She attended St. Michael's College up there in Winooski, Vermont, where she earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in drama. She obtained her master's degree in English education from New York University in New York City. Uh, Ms. Becker has taught high school English at Levitt Area High School for 10 years. Recommendation is to appoint uh, Carrie Becker to the high school English teacher position. Move approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Six. Um, this time to middle school, 9.6.5 uh, is the appointment of a middle school social studies teacher. William Cabana is nominated to fill this position. This has been created by a retirement. Mr. Cabana uh, earned his degree in government and legal studies from Bowdoin College, so he knows a bit about Maine. He has worked in New Market, New Hampshire school district since two, uh, 2012. Mr. Cabana will, um, is the uh, gentleman being recommended to fill the middle school social studies teacher position, um, and uh, that would be my recommendation. Move approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Six. Elizabeth Fahan is um, another new middle school appoint, uh, nomination uh, for an appointment, uh, this time to a middle school science teacher position. It's been created as well uh, by a resignation. Uh, Ms. Fahan studied at Providence College. She earned an undergraduate degree in biology, earned her Master's of Arts in Adolescent Biology Education uh, from Hunter College um, in New York. Ms. Fahan has been a substitute teacher in area districts and as well in EdTech 3 at the middle, uh, at the Greeley uh, Middle School up in Cumberland. Ms. Fahan um, is the individual uh, nominated to um, fill this uh, position, science position at the middle school. Move approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Six. Um, item 9.6.8. Uh, seven, uh, we're back to the, uh, the high school, but we stay in the science area. And Sarah Janosik has been nominated to fill this position. This has been created um, by a resignation. Ms. Janosik uh, graduated cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in microbiology from the University of New Hampshire, is currently enrolled in the Master of Science uh, in Educational Leadership 
and that is at the University of New England. She's taught several different science courses at Marshwood High School for three years. Ms. Uh, uh, Jason, am I saying this right? Uh, Jasonic, I guess. Uh, sorry. Genos? Yeah, it's misspelled. It is? Okay. Um, uh, is the individual uh, nominated to uh, fill this high school science teacher position? Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Uh, incidentally, I've uh, met. Uh, many if not all of these individuals and I continue to be impressed by the excellent job that the um, selection teams are doing out in the schools. We are finding just amazing new staff and it's very exciting as these new folks join um, our existing teams. So we'll move on to 9.6.8 which is um, another high school science teacher position created again by a resignation. This time it's Al Albert McCormick um, uh, and he has been nominated to fill this position. He received his Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology from uh, Gettysburg College. He's currently enrolled in the University of Southern Maine's extended teacher education program. He worked as a teacher in Maryland where he taught students to explore their natural environment. Uh, he is the individual, Al Albert McCormick, nominated to fill this high school science teacher position. Move approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor. Six. We'll now move on to 9.6.9, um, again at the uh, high school, uh, moving uh, to math, and, and we have Gail Neal, who is being brought forward and nominated to fill this position uh, that has been created by a resignation. Ms. Neal received her Bachelor of Science degree in mathematics from the University of New Hampshire. She's taught mathematics in several school districts. Um, including Biddeford High School, Levitt High School, Brunswick High School, and at Scarborough High School, um, and that has been over a period of seven years. Uh, it is Gail Neal who is being recommended to fill that uh, vacancy that we currently have as um, a high school math teacher. Move approval. Second. All in favor? Uh, now to English. Uh, the high school has had uh, quite a, a change up of staff and, um, and again with extraordinary candidates being brought forward by the selection teams. This is Mary Beth Nolt um, being nominated to fill a high school English teacher position. She received her Bachelor of Arts in English from Gordon College. She's been student teaching in both South Portland High School and Baxter Academy for Technology and Science. So I suspect she has some technology background as well, where she also acted as a long-term substitute. Um, and it is uh, Mary Beth Nolt who is being brought forward and nominated uh, to fill this position as uh, one of our new high school English teachers. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Uh, staying at the high school, and uh, this time it is Amy Ranko who is being nominated to fill the high school social worker position that was created recently by a retirement. Ms. Uh, Ranko earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology from St. Anselm's College in uh, New Hampshire, her master's in clinical social work from Boston College. She's been a clinical uh, coordinator at the Gray New Gloucester High School for eight years, and prior to that she served as the lead clinical social worker at the Renaissance School in Lewiston, and a clinical treatment coordinator at the Charter Brookside Behavioral Health System. Uh, she uh, is the individual, Amy Ranko, who is being brought forth and nominated to fill uh, the position uh, that's open there for a social worker at the high school. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Um, staying at the high school, 9.6.12, they've been very busy this spring and summer. Uh, this time another English teacher, uh, this is Ann Reiner or Reiner? Reiner? Annie. Annie Reiner, who's been nominated to fill this position. It's a position, uh, uh, the vacancy is created by a retirement. Um, Ms. Reiner received her Bachelor of Arts degree in English from Vassar College, earned her a Master's of Arts in, uh, from Harvard Graduate School of, of Education. She's taught high school English at various institutes, including the J. John F. Kennedy High School, Cambridge Ringe and, uh, and 
and Latin School and Cambridge Harvard Summer Academy. Um, it is this uh, individual, Annie Reiner, who is being brought forth and nominated uh, to be a new high school English teacher. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Um, now to special education. This is a K-2 special education teacher vacancy, and this is a newly created position um, uh, authorized through the, the budget process, and that was the increase in the um, special education expenditures that you saw. Uh, this time it's uh, Danielle Roy Becker, uh, who is um, being uh, nominated to fill this position. Uh, Danielle has a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education from the University of Maine at Orono and her master's degree in education from Simmons College. She was a special ed teacher at the Wentworth School, so you may recognize that name, for six years, as well as teaching in Massachusetts before um, teaching here in Scarborough. We're excited to nominate uh, Danielle Roy Becker as the K-2 special education teacher. Move approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor. Six. Uh, staying um, in terms of our uh, special education staff, 9.6.14 um, uh, is a, a nomination for the Wentworth Academic Life Skills Teacher. This is Catherine Fisher, nominated to fill this position. It's a position that has been created by uh, resignation. Ms. Fisher earned her Bachelor of Architecture degree from Roger Williams College down there in Rhode Island. Her Master of Science uh, degree in special education from the University of Southern Maine. She's been a special education teacher at the North Star Learning Center in Portland. Um, and we are excited to nominate Ms. Fisher uh, as the new uh, Wentworth Academic Life Skills teacher. Approve approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Um, staying in. Special Education, nine point, who, uh, and that group has also been busy, 9.6.15. This is K2 uh, Behavioral Specialists. This is a newly created position, and I think you got to hear um, Allison uh, talk about uh, this position. Again, part of that same um, new expenditure in special education, but it essentially uh, doubles our capacity in terms of behavior specialists within the district, which is extraordinary and extraordinarily needed. This is Katrina Edwards, who is being brought forth and nominated to fill this position. She's a graduate from Mary Washington College and, jo and George uh, Mason University. She's been teaching in a classroom setting for 11 years as a special education teacher in Cape Elizabeth. Um, she also spent time at RSU 23 and at Spurwink School. Most recently, she was a special education teacher um, with Scarborough Schools. Um, the nomination is for Katrina Edwards to assume the K-12, this new K-12 behavioral specialist position. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. I think um, uh, we're now moving to elementary. 9.6.16 uh, is eight corners, classroom teacher. This is Ashley Cadlick. Is, and she is nominated to fill this position. It's been created by a resignation. Ms. Cadlick is a graduate of the University of New England a with a degree in elementary education, completed her student teaching at Eight Corners School, where she was also a long-term substitute in, the, in a kindergarten uh, classroom. Most recently, she participated in the Kindergarten Jumpstart program at, at Eight Corners, working with incoming kindergartners. She filled a one-year position at Eight Corners School last year. She is absolutely excited about being nominated and having you approve her as a, a new Eight Corners classroom teacher. Approve approval. Second. Discussion? Discussion? No? No? All right. All in favor? Six. And? And we move to Wentworth School. Um, Chaley Zinchuk is nominated to fill this position. It's been created by a retirement, and this is a Wentworth classroom teacher. Ms. Zinchuk uh, received her bachelor's degree in sociology from the University of Southern Maine, her master's degree in elementary education from Marymount University in Virginia. She has been student teaching, substitute teaching, and an ed tech three in both Maine and Virginia. Most recently, she 
filled a one-year position at Wentworth School. Last year, um, people over there are pretty delighted that she is being nominated, as is she, uh, to this Wentworth School classroom teacher position, and that's my recommendation. Move approval. Second. Second. Very good. Any discussion? All in favor? Thanks. Oops. Yeah. Did you have a comment? I thought she had, I thought Jackie had her hand up to say something. Oh, okay. She was voting. Moving along. Are we, fast. Are we now complete? Nope. No. 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 <laughs> we are almost there, Jackie. Okay. Okay. Um, the backgrounds of, of these new individuals is just really very impressive. And I'm going to continue. Okay. Um, with 9.6.19, uh, this should have been an addendum uh, that you have or have received. Uh, can you repeat that? 9.6.19. We didn't have a 1.8. Are these? We didn't have a 1.8. We didn't have a 1.8. We didn't have a 1.8, but we I have didn't have a 1.8. Okay, yes, I, I will do 1.8. One, one I'm just checking to make sure that you have 1.9. No. No? We don't have 1.8 or 1.9. No. Okay. So do they have a new one of these or not? not? No. Okay, this is... This is uh, catching up on our summer hiring, um, and so I, I'm going to continue. Um, I will tell you about each of these individuals, um, it, which is basically a, what you would have received, and we apologize for not getting this to you um, a little quicker. I will go to, there are four other additional appointments that were sort of just coming in, and we uh, and, uh, Kelly got them in just uh, before the wire here. 9.6.18, uh, this is an eight corners uh, a school classroom teacher. She, this is Sarah Conieras. Okay, Conieras, and she's nominated to fill this position. It's been created by a resignation. Ms. Conieras received her degree in early childhood education from the University of Maine at Farmington. She's been an Ed Tech 3 at the Eight Corners School, where she was also a Jump Start teacher for this, in, for incoming uh, kindergarten uh, uh, students. Uh, it is our recommendation that Sarah Conieras uh, be um, approved to fill this Eight Corners School classroom teacher position. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? Yes. Uh, yes. I would like to see the bios from these, though, Dr. Edsel, at some point. So could we please have those forwarded? Sure. I, Thank you. I have one question. Yeah. So is this from a resignation or from a retirement? This one is from a resignation. Okay. Anything else? All in favor? Six. A 9.6.19, Wentworth School classroom teacher. This is Melissa Maddock, and she is nominated to fill this position created by a resignation. She received her both her bachelor's and her master's degree from the University of Southern, Southern Maine. She's been a teacher at the St. Bridget's School in Portland since 2007. Most recently was a one-year math teacher at the Wentworth School. I just met with her yesterday. She's absolutely delighted and excited about uh, taking on this role as a Wentworth School classroom teacher, and I would recommend your approval. Approval. Second. Okay, any discussion? All in favor? Six. Um, another individual uh, that I just met with, 9.6.20 is the uh, nomination of a Pleasant Hill School classroom teacher. This is Erica Kay, who is nominated. She earned her degree in sociology from Wheaton College, her master's de um, degree in education from Lesley University. She taught for seven years at the Eight Corners School before uh, leaving to stay at home with her new, her, her new daughter. And she is absolutely uh, excited uh, to go back uh, come back to Scarborough. She's not going back to Eight Corners. She is going to Pleasant Hill, which she is also very excited about, but she's happy to be back at Scarborough. So I would recommend your um, approval of her nomination to this Pleasant Hill School classroom teacher position. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? Another resignation? Uh, uh, filled by a a retirement. Thank you. All in favor? Six. Lastly, um, uh, 
6.21, another teacher that I just met with yesterday. This is Diane Stoltz. She's nominated to fill the position of the Wentworth School uh, Consulting Teacher, this uh, special education position, another individual who's very excited uh, to be coming to Scarborough. She received her Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology and her Master's of Science degree in Special Education from the University of Southern Maine. She's been in special, a special education teacher in several capacities since 2001. I would like to nominate and recommend your approval of Diane Stoltz as the Wentworth School Consulting Teacher. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Six. Thank you. And that concludes the nominations. Well, welcome. Now are we filled? Yes. Oh, no. No? No. <laughs> Uh, now we are done. <laughs> we, we are now caught up, I would say. Um, I believe that the remaining positions are um, at the high school a point four English teacher, the middle school a classroom teacher, Wentworth School a three five classroom teacher, um, a seven I mean seven a uh, K two music teacher. We had two of our uh, uh, very talented and wonderful teachers have an opportunity, and um, and they have headed uh, to the west coast. That creates. Um, a classroom and also a music teacher um, uh, position. So there are those positions. Uh, there are seven ed tech positions. Uh, there's one central office receptionist position and we're still looking to fill two bus driver positions. So you'll be hearing some more mm -hmm. from me on September 3rd. So roughly how many resignations was that? Um, Kelly, can you do a quick count? And also a number of retirements. Mm -hmm. Over the course of the summer, 12 resignations. Or over the course of the spring, spring and summer. And summer. Yeah. Spring and summer, mm -hmm. the yeah. entire time. Okay. Some coming in very late, you know, very late. And so that's why we're kind yeah. of right. uh, catching up at the, at the tail end here. Very impressive individuals. Good, good job in terms Mr. of... Mr. Chiazzo? Uh, yeah, I, I just like to... Cause I don't recall this being a rather high turnover considering the volume of teachers we have. It doesn't seem unusually high to me, but um, do you, can you address that at all? Or? I, um, I, I think you're just hearing them all. I think uh, uh, in the past we might have had either some of them presented to you earlier in, in uh, bef you know, before we had mm -hmm. the sort of the scent, the, the uh, core part of the summer, and then sort of finishing it up at this time. I think you're hearing the full, you're hearing the full lineup really of the hiring that has been done, done over the last several weeks. Right. So. And just one last question. Is there anything that remains open that's critical path for us before September 1st rolls around? Uh, yeah. Yes, um, the, all of those teacher positions, I mean, all of the teacher and certainly the ed tech positions, but there are, you know, the ed techs, there's movement on those. I'm okay. seeing in, uh, lots of um, lots of activity. I mean, I think we also have a, um, aren't we also hiring a cook? Uh, because I think that's who Peter mm -hmm. was um, interviewing for. Um, so all of, I mean, all of those <coughs> positions, bus driver, important. So we, we are, uh, there'll be a lot of activity out in the schools and um, and here in central office to get those positions filled. Can I just add something? We're, we're interested in really strong ethics. Okay. A okay. lot of people are interested in coming, and some are just really want to be in Scarborough. Yep. So, so there's, there, there is interest. It's not like we, we have a, no, we, a, we, no, a we plethora have of positions with no candidates. Okay. No, we have candidates. We, we're just getting, no, that's fine. And, and particularly with ed techs, there's a lot of turnover yep. very, very late, and, yep. and so it's, um, it's always playing catch up there. Yep. And on these teachers, there will be, there will be excellent candidates uh, to, to fill these positions. Jackie? Yes. Uh, would you please, doesn't have to be done today, tomorrow, even next week, but sometime uh, probably before October, if, if we could have just the numbers of persons who resigned and where they fall on the, the experience scale, there's, there's a method to my madness. There always is. Well, 
when we're negotiating, it is sometimes easy to, to see where there may be gaps. Uh, if you're get, losing people at, say, the sixth year or the eighth year or whatever, I, I like to know uh, it, it may be helpful information, that's all. No names, not even where they taught, just how many years' experience they had uh, when they left. And maybe if it was a bachelor's or a master's, it might be helpful, but mostly just the years of experience. So they're not the retirees? The resignation. No, retirement's a retirement, you know, and right. that occurs would, would it, at retirement age, I hope, but... Wouldn't it, would it be better to look at that data over a th the three-year contract trend? Because, I mean, to, this year might just be an anomaly for some particular reason. I, I, don't, even know if that, I don't even know if that data goes back that far. I would assume it would. Um, I, I mean, I would just... That would be fine. I'm just not looking to make work. It just yeah. came to me this moment, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. Probably because we were filling so many positions this evening. But, mm -hmm. and as I say, it's not critical to have it immediately. And we'll make note of that, and that, that shouldn't be difficult. Uh, but it, it probably will not be immediate, but we can certainly do that. Anyone else? Well, the good news is that we, we certainly are gaining some incredible people. Absolutely. The backgrounds are just wonderful. It's just terrific to see that we're able to attract such high-quality people to our district. So. I'm, well, I'm very pleased at, at the kinds of people that are coming in and excited to see them joining our, our schools and our, working with our students. So. And what, what we see is the level of excitement that, and energy that they're bringing. Um, that's, and that's the common thread of all of these individuals that I've seen, is there is just a, a great passion for what they do and a very high level of excitement about coming here and doing their work here. So that's great. Yes. Uh, again, this is a question that doesn't need to be answered this evening. Uh, an email would be fine. I've heard that there's going to be a gathering for sixth grade children and their parents and for third grade children and their parents. Uh, should school board members plan on attending? Uh, talk about it. The same thing with the open house. Is it helpful to have school board people there when you have the open house, as we've done in the past? Uh, if so, let us know what the dates are. Very good. Anyone else? A motion to adjourn? Move Anyone? to adjourn. Second. Very good. All in favor? Six. Very good. Get it. I'm short. Thank you, thank you. Good job. Thank you.